Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Art 8 today and today welcome to the new series that we have just um, decided to make but it's been something in the pipeline for quite a Vacuum. long time really so what we're going to be doing is we, um, while these two machines well firstly I'd like to show you what I daily drive um, in the house to, to around the house currently so we have the Dyson 360i, which is a cordless machine with a brain. Um, I do and believe the brain there. I do believe it's, it's a far more. superior machine than any Dyson cordless um, vacuum. In fact, the Dyson cordless I've got now mainly gets used to do the guinea pig. So uh, there's enough say with that. So we've got this one. And got um, this one. This one well, I have it scheduled for in here. To do the whole bottom of the floor and then we do upstairs and then every other day i go over with this bad boy and it seems to keep the house nice and clean now if he's a fan when for this for this it's just one way for this one okay yeah. on, then. so ha oh, wow. back to the video well what we're going to do today is these every month or every month i do around about the start of the month it does say Where? Yeah, you've got to clean these every month. So both of these filters in here need to be cleaned every month lot, once a month lot, see? But yeah, so the little filters here, what I found with these sort of pocket designs, yeah, these little bad boys. Um, they don't really dry very fast, no. do they? You actually can see the dirt now. Yeah, you can, yeah, but it has gone through a lot of dirt this week. No, it might get away, you can pop it off and chuck in the washing yeah. machine better. Put it back in then. You get all the dirt out, pop That's it. That's it, good boy. So, so these get generally washed at the start of the month. So I normally have to use something else while these two um, are getting cleaned. Um, I also clean the bins out as well. Look. And I wipe the shrouds off. I, was, I, I didn't know this. This is how the lock, here's how it locks the bin in. So it comes out. Oh yeah. See? Yeah, yeah. I just want to put some uh, fills on it. So, so yeah, so basically once a month, I wash all the filters all, all in one go. Um, as you can see, look, no, don't put it shit. This one is filled up. I actually empty this one a couple of times a week. Uh, this one I emptied last by. week. So, you know, it has picked a lot of uh, fine dust up. <laughs> Very good machines. Don't need any more. So anyway, uh, generally, when I have both of these machines, I normally leave them two to three days to dry the filters out. Um, which well, means I week. have to use... So what we've decided to do, we do weekly. As Carl's got a very, well, fairly large collection of vintage machines. Here's them over here. I thought, well, why don't we do a vintage week? Because um, I am quite happy using these two um, as my daily drivers. To be honest with now, you. I want to show you the one that's going to replace the 360i. So let's get the one that's going to replace the 360i today, then. Here's the one that's going to replace the 360i. So I'm not using one machine because, um, because to be honest with you, this one's not, you know, you can't get into the furniture with uh, this one. You, you only said one well. pace up right now. Yeah. You it is one pace up right. So, so what we'll do now, we'll put the other two away and we'll have a little, quick little chat about these yeah, two. So what we decided to do, well this actually almost folded today because I'll actually have to upload this one tomorrow now. Um, I did actually have issues uh, with the Hoover Junior. So this Hoover Junior here um, was one of the very first 70s machines we ever did on the channel, which was almost three years ago. Yeah, so we're doing it didn't sound that good. And I think there was, so there was something going wrong with it back three years ago. Um, and now, and now since it actually happened. So what we did, so this one, get the rating sticker out on this one. It's actually a birthday machine, actually, because this one was manufactured in November 1971. So it's November today, actually. So it is. Um, so it's 47 years old, this one, practically oh. come off the uh, production line. So this one actually. Yeah, it's going to go to the nine today. Yeah, so basically, this one had an issue with a motor where the front bearing had seized. Um, so I actually had a bearing. And, all... it, and, it, and it did 
did actually not spin and it made that uh, That's right. humming noise. I, cu I couldn't. And the humming noise means if you keep on, it's going to catch some fire. That's right. The, the motor had seized inside, the front bearing had seized. I actually had a bearing um, all ready to go on another machine, um, all greased up and everything. So I did try and revive the other bearing, but it was too far gone. So I've just replaced it with a, a revived bearing uh, off another machine. Um, that's the advantage of buying um, donor machines. How about the constellation now? The constellation? We've done a couple of mods to oh yeah, and I've removed the suppressor out of this one today. Um, so this one's all been safe to use because it's been, it's been sat a little while and you know, I think that's what generally Kills all the makes them go off. You took the one down the constellation? Yes, I mean, in the summer months I, I went through this machine. Um, I took the suppressor out of that one. And, and we got the headphones. And I think on the original video as well there was black uh foam coming at the bottom and that was the filter so i did my little um shark shark filter hack which What's the base hack done well you didn't use a shark one basically i went to um like in there yeah so we've got a cut up shark filter but not a, a generic one so this one is from uh June 1960, 1972. So these were actually. We do have the proper head. Possibly. We do have the proper head for it now. Oh, yeah. And I've also acquired the correct head. Um, so I've now got a complete set of tools which are made up from a Hoover Junior hose. And what bought for which one? And also I've acquired a head for this one. This is the actual proper flip over head. This is very similar to the Electrolux heads. Look. I think this was a copy Look. actually. Hard saw. So. Because basically, carpet. you know, these machines here are designed for carpet, but this machine is designed for floors, but it doesn't, it's not very as good on the carpet and as that I'm one. And I'm going to show that thing we made up. Right, oh, that's gentle. So what we've also done, the um, the saying is, will it happen? Well, I've uh, basically um, not stolen any ideas, but I've literally thought, why don't, and I know other people in the US used to do it with their vintage machines, like on their um, dynamics and things like that. And what they do is they literally, they take the cardboard off and they glue it onto a modern bag. They go pneumatic. So what I've done here is I've actually glued this onto a pneumatic HEPA bag. Pneumatic. Um, at the moment I'm having it, so I'm going to be trying this one this week. So this is version one. Right, do version two. So we're just going to try it, and if it does work, I will be demoing the machine we with in these bags in. We're yeah, because this is just a generic bag. Are we um, taking this out? Yeah, not now. So yeah, so basically, you know, Cole's got. We're actually going to pick different um, decades as well. So the first one we done was the seventies. We've shown quite a lot of seventies machines, Bodies. but we haven't shown this one for a while. And we haven't shown this one for a while, and, and like you say, these this one is from late 1971, and that one's from mid 1972. So, uh, it's going to be an interesting week using them. Um, you know, I suppose it's a bit like not having a smartphone for a week, you know, and going back to a, like a, a Nokia, uh, the old Nokia phones we no. could just phone people up on. No, or the first iPhone one. Yeah, or well, having a first iPhone, yeah, and having that for a week. So it is. No, and the apps are not working. So it's going to be. Apps are not it's going to be an interesting week, and it does also give chance to show the updated vacuums. Oh, okay. and uh, so the motor is bad, and then the brush the, the brush strips were bad. So after the motor is nice and yeah, nice and balance, nice and um yeah, nice and smooth, the bearings were gone. So I've actually. Well, let's show them the bag. So we're using a generic fiber cable bag. Yeah, so there won't should be any dust coming out of this one. Uh -oh. So it's going to be it's going to do a good job. Hey, you know, you're going to see what's in the beat about this, guys. I'm just going to show you. It's kind of hard to spin it. So I've put a a refurbished um, a refurbished one off and off of when I was building. And this has got brand new brush strips on it. You've got to really watch the brand new brush strips on them. But 
no, I've, the bag's not, one of the bag bits are not on. Yeah, we can sort that in a minute. Back. Yeah, so, so it was a bit of a disaster, but it is nice to get these two back out again, and it is nice to oh, actually... Well, one problem, listen. Yeah, we'll have to let that glue. I'm actually going to probably get some Gorilla glue for this. Barrel. Um, And glue it back in. So I will be using the Junior tonight, probably, and then maybe the Constellation with the paper bag, but my aim this week is to see if this prototype one that I've done works quite well. It'd be interesting. So we'll find out next next week how well it's done and how well if this bag has worked. I mean, uh, oh, where where's where the belt always? That's right. Yeah, these are quite. Enough. This is pro probably one of the best color schemes of the seventies. The blue with the uh, ivory white. Um, like I said, they I did. Really the, like the orange ones. They did the dirt searcher. They did the senior. Oh, uh, the, the next. They did one, the conquest. The, oh, the next one. I really wanted to be dirt searcher. Yeah, so um I don't I do So we're gonna so on the next so we are actually gonna be doing a um so it will be a so in five weeks time we will be doing another one but we're gonna pick a different decade and we're gonna pick two machines hopefully from similar years. It's gonna be difficult because when you get to um some of the very old machines it is difficult to actually find uh like a cylinder to match the upright we so one. So we're got, so I've got a few ideas. Carl's got quite a large collection. We haven't even shown. I mean, to be honest with you, we're only probably about fifty percent through his Hoover collection. We to do be have honest. Two in the hallway. Yeah. So uh, and they are growing a little bit. We're specifically getting nice machines now. I mean, this one was back in the day. Um, I mean, I wouldn't buy this one now. To be honest with you. Yes, it might blow up. So, uh, you know, one day we may see this one fully refurbished look, again. Look. Height right adjuster, yeah. That was the first time they introduced that on the uh, the Junior, which is ideal for the look. different carpets in here. Oh, we need the metal ones. The metal ones, I'm not sure. So, uh, so we'll see you again in the week's time, and we'll see how well this one's... Um, and maybe, show, uh, maybe it's done a vacuum. Yeah. And we'll see how well this one, well, these two have got on for the week. Um, like I say, I mean, I know there is the vacuum of the month, but I don't, I, I don't, I would never want to use one of them for a month. I, I'm just happy using modern. Full week. I mean, if you can have a, a, a vacuum where you press a button when you're when you're at work or something, and it vacuums your whole floor, and when you get back, it's all no. gone. No, I mean, that is like, no, 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 no. Oh, I like to make one with a dirty fan. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so uh, we'll see how well this one's... Or a well, we'll it. see if this one's still in one piece when we get back, because it, it, yes. it was a bit of a disaster uh, earlier on today. Need a belt strap. No, because that belt there uh, look, is a, look, a warm the, belt. Look, that, that's, that's, that's got that piece on the Hoover Dirt Set. So that's right, yeah, that's goes. where you put the little the little uh, protector. I the, think it's the uh, the night thing. What pumps yeah. the light in? Yeah, because it's the same. Uh, I we actually can use tools for this. No, we're not going to use tools. We're going to use this one. Yeah, because that one there, Junior's on tools ain't as a waste of time. Yeah, so that one there's got six hundred so watts of. Uh, we also have two of them on there. That's right. Yeah. So uh, I'd like to get some parts of this one really, but I'll never see. It's hard. Never seen it's again. hard now. I'm going to yeah. Two. So uh, see you on the next one. Bye for now.